Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Wednesday morning, October 11th. Look at Window Traders and Market Profile of the ESNQ. Very excited today, I have four traders showing up late afternoon to spend the rest of the week with me. Uh, tomorrow and Friday, second Camelback trading retreat. Really looking forward to that, the first one was huge success. And I expect this one to be also. Okay, so... Let's talk about the market real quickly in general. I think the market's done a good job, the bulls have done a good job of putting the weekly back to balance and getting the daily up. <clears throat> I do think though, I would like to see, it would be healthier for at some point for the market now to come in some sort of balance on the daily. Take back some of this poor structure, right? Three trend days in a row to the upside. Take back some of this poor structure and then find real buyers or at least new short-term buyers that are willing to stay in the market if they think the lows are in and we try to grind higher for this fourth quarter to possibly make new highs on the year. Maybe even attract long-term money if we pull back, but, but the pullback isn't enough. Right? I think there's a lot of money sitting on the sidelines after last quarter and they're looking for the market to possibly go lower. Well, now after this short-fueled run-up, if we do get a pullback, but they can't take it much lower, maybe you get longer term money in, which would make it even a stronger rally for the fourth quarter. So that's a bigger picture look of what I'm looking for. We do have Fed minutes today at two. Again, they shouldn't really mean anything, but you know these algos always react to them. And then of course we have PPI and CPI this week also, and then bank earnings start on Friday. Again, earnings are the to me, earnings, if you're trading the, the indexes, are the least of uh, the concern, except for the big stocks, um, you know, the big tech stocks, especially for the NQ. But as far as regular earnings are concerned and stuff, that's not going to, uh, to me, not to have that much of an effect on the, uh, on the ES. Uh, as far as the game plan for this morning, so after we had that liquidation break yesterday, the market really lost its way, right? The algos get agitated and frisky and they spent the last two and a half hours of the day just really going nowhere. Well, now look, we spent the whole overnight in the same area. Now I'm in twos. Let's see how wide that pock actually is. <clears throat> it's 18 wide. Okay. So we have a wide overnight pock. Okay. And now look what we're doing again, pushing up. I thought yesterday, since we held the trend day, we might actually spend time between C's high and E's low, right? We shot up in D, shot down in H, and fill in some volume here. We never did that yesterday. Chance we do it this morning? Possibly, right? Same with NQ. Let's see what Righty's doing. Righty didn't really have, even though Righty had the liquidation break, they had um, <clears throat> no single prints in D period, so that wasn't much of a factor there. So what's the game plan? Again, we talk about it consistently. Depending on where the overnight high is, you could possibly front run it, right? And on a pullback, same thing against the overnight low, especially since it's right above where the single prints are. Again, imbalance in value would be the worst of your risk reward trade. Just keep that in mind. Trade this day as a normal day, at least for the entire morning, Again, the market will probably get quiet and dry up as we uh, get near 2 o'clock. But that doesn't mean you can't trade this day as a normal day, basically up to, you know, 2 o'clock or quarter to 2, something of that nature. Don't let the minutes affect your trading prior to that. After they come out, again, it's not the same as a Fed day because with the Fed day, you have uh, Powell with his whole press conference a half hour later. Today, it's just the minutes being released. So if the algos do go frisky and agitated, once they settle down, you should be able to get back to trading depending on what kind of uh, movement or trend they want to take from that point on. And then on the chart, so again, the bulls have done a very good job putting the weekly back to balance. We don't know what the balance will be until after this week. We have three days to go. If we go higher, I mean, right now, it probably encompasses it as a four-week balance, right? So we'll see by the end of the week. The daily... Again, up, one time frame up two days out of an outside day up, above the 20, next target is the 50, and also to fill the remaining gap from September 
21st. Good luck trading today. Thanks for the likes and subscribing to this channel. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.